Okay, we're going to take a closer look at the prize pack for April 2024 Gel Ball Blaster Master YouTube contest. So make sure, if you haven't, to watch the video that's posted on my channel main page, the contest announcement slash contest is live video that tells you everything you need to do to enter. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a closer look at all these different blasters, kind of talk a little bit about what I did. So we'll start here with the VZ61 Scorpion. So this is from Gel Bomb. They're a seller on Amazon. They sell this, and they sell the three other Gel Fight blasters. So they have this one, the MAC-10, and why am I not thinking? And the uh, Quasar DR12. All right. This, I think, and the MAC 10 are the two better. Uh, the Quasar does seem to have some feeding issues. Anyway, what we did here with the Scorpion VZ61 is obviously added this front piece here so that you got a nice grip on it, replaced the charging handles just to make them a little more beefy and cool, threaded tip, different stock. You still get your drum mag and your stick mag. So there you go. And this can use an 11.1 battery. And of course, those batteries are included for all of these blasters. So that's the VZ61. Then we've got this nice Desert Eagle here. So this Desert Eagle has blowback. All right. This does have a mechanical magazine, one of the very few that works pretty well. So you don't see that a lot. And this is a pretty cool pistol style gel blaster. Now, I did a couple things here. Obviously, we've got this big piece on the front here that allows you to have um, just this nice long rail. And that let me put this piece on here, which is actually where your battery goes. This comes off. Your battery goes in here. And you could use an 11.1 in here. Just be a little careful. It does have the blowback. Sometimes that runs into issues. So you definitely have a cool blaster, just some cool accessories added on to it, the laser and everything right there. Whoop. Accidentally dropped the mag. Last, we've got a Gen 8 M4A1. So this is like an Anstoy Gen 8 M uh, M4A1 CQB style. Custom handguard, obviously it's shortened. Threaded tip on here, okay. Got your grip, nice long kind of rail riser. And then we went with uh, HK416 kind of CQB stock. So your battery's still back there like you would expect. All right. Now, if you want to convert this to standard Gen 8 M4A1, slide this off, twist that off, and then you've got your actual handguard right there, plus the stock. There's also a T-piece with the plastic inner barrel, so you can put a full-length barrel on that. That'll get your FPS back up to like that 230 FPS range, where right now it's down based on that much shorter inner barrel. So I gave you that option to do that later if you choose to. Got all the batteries, tons of gel beads, two packs of these, one big pack of glow-in-the-dark gels, another big pack of just assorted different colored gels, little funnel to put on there uh, to put your gel balls into your blaster, some stickers, some safety glasses, of course, and a few other accessories. I'll also end up including uh, a bunch of different 3D printed parts that I no longer use or that maybe I didn't paint, but are still definitely good to go. And I figured whoever ends up winning this might enjoy having those. Uh, so I'm gonna include those too. So that's kind of a quick up close look at the prize package. Good luck to all of you. Um, make sure you guys are following the rules from uh, Social Man, like I've told you. Make sure you're doing what you can to get those bonus entry credits too and share my channel with your friends, and like and comment on videos, even when contests aren't going on. Thanks.